Hey team, JT Accessible here. Today we're going to talk about merged and split cells as part of the IT service and accessibility workshops. Here's a sample document. Uh, we've completed this nice table here. Only thing that's coming back on the accessibility checker is this warning for merged or split cells. Uh, when you hit one, it points to the disk 2 or the disk 1, um, telling us that that single cell is spanning both of these columns here. Why is that an issue? Let's see what happens after we convert the same document to PDF and check it out in Acrobat Pro DC. You're going to get this error here for table regularity. Because when it's converted, it just defaults this into one cell. But you need to have an equal number of cells in each row across the entire uh, table. And as you can see here, we go into the Tags menu. It goes 1, then it converts to 2. You need to have 2 and each single one in order not to get the regularity error. So it's possible to correct the error uh, in Acrobat by modifying the number of cells in each row uh, so they're all equal. But what if you just want to avoid the error entirely? Let's go back to that Word document and this time let's build our table uh, by using the insert caption feature. Uh, right click insert caption and use that to enter the disk 1, disk 2 information now they're not part of the table. Now you have equal cells in each row. And now, when you convert it, all you're going to get are the standard warnings for contrast, reading order, and then the fill-in for the title. And you're all set. Uh, so just remember that that's what you're going to get the error for for merge and split cells when you're doing that gapping of the cells. So exploit the features of Word to set up your table ahead of time so you don't run into any of that and then you can convert at will.